So welcome to this webinar from BizLink about our latest product, the Click. And the Click is BizLink's newest camera transmitter. And we've got some examples of it here and here. And I'm going to ask Michel about what's so great about Click. Of course, you see it right away. It's really small though. It's a really small size transmitter. And it has even have the ability to send two times an HD 1080p stream or a one times a 4K stream. That's really good. And so it's designed for quality, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It is designed for quality doing HEVC uh, 10 bit 422. And also by the implementation of DVB-T2 and dual pedestal, we can guarantee actually a much higher quality than ever before, David. And we're really great for high dynamic range and delivering source quality from the camera into the production center. Yeah, it? especially HDR is very important there because if we look at our customer base, they like 4K, but they like HDR even more. So it's mm. more important for them than even 4K at the moment. Yes, that's very much so. And in terms of the RF transmission, what, so what's it got in terms of the transmission capability? Yeah, I already briefly touched it, of course, but next to DVB T2, it supports, of course, DVB T and ISDBT and LMST. And also next to that, there's the dual pedestal. The dual pedestal, you can get them far more robust transmission. And also the quality will go up to, to the more higher bandwidth available. So really maximum flexibility, all RF modes included in this one unit. Yeah, this, although it's very small, it's almost to the best we can, we can give you. Very much so. And what sort of applications is it really good for? Now, yeah, because the size already shows right away, of course, you can use it in all kinds of small setups, covered drones, uh, onboards, POVs, as you see over here. So there are many possibilities, mainly because of the size, but also don't forget the two video inputs. It also opens up a lot of uh, opportunities where you want to have two cameras live at the same time. And I'm sure so our customers will be really inventive and think up lots of applications of their own as well. But yes, definitely, David. And also, of course, you can also take the, the click apart if you want, and then use the PCBs in your own casing, for example, like the helmet or whatever you have in mind. Yeah. I've just come back from a motorsports event, somewhat panda ride from the sun, but why might it be so good for, for onboards for motor racing? Yeah, of course, it also supports the telemetry CAN bus. It's, of course, a robust build, as you already can see over here, all aluminium, so it really can survive long races uh, on race tracks and cars in motorcycles whatever you think of, and yeah, that's an, of course an enormous opportunity to remotely control also other stuff inside the car using the mm. CAN bus. That's right, and in multiple video inputs, so you can get different camera views from the, the racing vehicle as well. Also really good for, for drones as well, some of the larger format drones. Yeah, of course, yeah, it's not for the tiny, tiny uh, drones, but if you take a little bit more advanced drones, it definitely fits on those, and also, of course, with the low power uh, capability of the units, mm -hmm. you can also do very long uh, range transmissions and yeah, use it anywhere where there's no other capabilities mm -hmm. for connectivity. Yes. And some of the, the things that we've seen a lot of interest in is point-of-view cameras, such as, such as this one that we've got here in front of us. Why is it so good for those type of smaller mirrorless cameras? Now, it gives you a uh, cinematic uh, shallow depth of field. And uh, you may also the World Cup, you did see you use it used a lot for in those uh, entrance to the pitch uh, captures, where you can really see close up of the, of the players running to the field. You see their, their intense look at, at, at everything. So yeah, but that's of course a very important use case. And a different view from some of the studio cameras because it gives, these types of cameras give a very narrow depth of field, much, getting much greater close to the heart of the action, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. It, yeah, it goes with our, our slogan, in the art of the action, that's where VisLink is and that's where the click is. That's right. What sort of other applications can it, can it be used for? Yeah, another thing I did not think about uh, right away, but some of our customers using the Dream, the DreamShip high frame rate cameras that use actually two times an HD output to enable a 120 frames maximal transmission, of course, with two HD inputs, be able to transmit those high frame rate feeds. So that's a very interesting use case for all those sports events where, of course, close finish and all those things are very important. And you can set up a, a super slow-mo action replay. And I, I, some of our customers are actually using this in a dual channel workflow. So you have both of the SDI by video fees being routed to the, for the slow motion replay. And you take one of the SDIs and that can be your live production normal frame rate. Uh, yeah, definitely. Yeah. So it's not only uh, motorsports or, or cycling, but also athletics. It's very, mm -hmm. no, very nice to watch those when the people jump or they, yeah, you know, all those athletic sports that really have yeah, a lot of muscle power that you can really see that. Yeah, that, that's really interesting to do. And that's, that's quite, the, quite new, I think, with, it, uh, with the click. Yes, a whole new toy and with it being wireless, it can never usually get right in 
amongst close in amongst the action that you get yeah, for those. You can get create new content and new few few points from different uh, sports. Yeah, very much. And um, when is click available? Like now it's available. Now it's actually shipping to our uh, yeah, our close customers for demoing. And then you can order now. So we start shipping from our factory in the middle of the summer. Really good news for lots of our customers. And if they like what they see here on this webinar, what should they do? Now they contact, of course, their account manager, or they can contact us directly via our website or via email. And then we can help you out with all kinds of details, data sheets and pricing, of course. Mm. So lots of good information about the click there. And hopefully this little short example of how it's so great and what features it has and how you can use it. Hopefully that's been useful to you. So we'll say from me, David Edwards, thank you very much. Thanks for watching. Sure. Thank you as well. And see you next time. Thank you.